Hi guys, so here yeah, we are at the Menam, at the end of Menam Beach, where the viewpoint of Menam is, just up there. And we are going to walk on Menam Beach from there. So like you can see, the entrance to the viewpoint is just right over there. Here you have the Black Rock Coffee, but it's actually closed. So let's go guys. The weather today is cloudy, so it's quite good to walk because right now it's like 5.45, so the end of the day, Sunday, and walk with the cloudy weather is always better as it's not as hot as when it's sunny, you know, so much, much better. Let's have a look. Over there we have, of course, the sister of Koh Samui, Koh Phangan. You can see the viewpoint up there with the flag. Koh Phangan. And right in front of us, the Lompaya Pier. Let's walk in the sea. It will be much more comfortable and fresh. So much of the hotels are actually closed, like this one there. Everything is closed and we don't have any access to the hotel. I don't know guys if you know what is this up there, you know the circle with the with the red point in the center, of course it's not to make uh, archery, it's just a kind of, um, how to say that, you see, we'll see it better now. Yeah, it's just to show because you have red light also on the top of it. You have two red light and two circle. So it's because uh, it's just to show to uh, to the boat who will uh, pass between Copenhagen and Koh Samui that on this line uh, there is a submarine submarine cable uh, to uh, provide electricity to Copenhagen from Koh Samui. So the cable is going right under the sea so it's to avoid any problem with the submarine cable and you have the Lompoya Pier many of the Lompoya speedboat are actually are still in the water for some of them because they have quite uh, some Thai customers, Thai clients who want to make trip, even if they are not much, uh, because normally they have much, much more than that. But I think they are actually out of the water. Now we have only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven speedboats in the water. This hotel is open, seems open, but it's look really empty. You have the 
sun beds outside. Yeah, like, there are some Thai people on the beach because it's Sunday. So for many of them, it's the day off. And they like to come at the end of the day in the afternoon because first it's less hot and uh, they don't have sun because they don't like sun. And of course, you have the dogs. See, like I told you, many of the Lampoya speedboats are out of the water because just right there you have the Lampoya main pier. It's still working now because you still can go to Copenhagen, but of course it's really quiet and uh, they don't really use now the for those people who knows that which kind of boat Lampoya was using. It was a kite of big catamaran, but actually it's really rare that they reach Copenhagen with it because there is no, there are no, there is no sorry, enough people. So they are using speedboat instead. instead. And as you can see, normally there is always activity on the pier. It's like always busy, but right now it looks like really empty and quiet. I think there was a jet ski trip today for some people. That's why now they are taking out on the water the jet skis. Many jet ski providers use this success on Menam because it's easy for them to put the jet ski in the water and to take them out of the water.
not so much things to say there because it's quiet and many of the hotels looks closed now sorry And then it's one of the longest beach in Samui because it's going to right over there. Uh, somewhere right here. This is the end of the beach. Where is my straw? The top of my straw. Uh, this is where you can find the W resort. Let's go have a look on what, how looks a closed hotel during the COVID pandemic in Samui because it's like 80 to 90% of the hotels now are like that, you know. Just close the access and looks, it looks quite really sad, you know, because there is no life. There's only a gardener inside because they still they need to care about the garden in Thailand and of course in Samui. If you don't care about the garden for like two or three months, it's becoming really fast a jungle. I will put you guys the name of each resort that we see. Yeah, 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 yeah. start again my video after the dogs nearly attack me they don't really attack you know but they just want to say okay you are my part of the beach you don't stay there too long normally we know in uh, when they are tourists dogs are never like that on the beach but as you can see now they are like beach owners and they don't want to share to share it Still paradise for kids. You can enjoy the sea. Hello.
let's make a break. This will be the sunset soon. I told you when I started the video that it was not so hot but as soon as you work you get hot really fast and now I'm quite hot but I didn't take my swimming suit and now I have regret because I will go and swim but I didn't take it I didn't plan to make a swim That is crazy, it's still, uh, still, they were planning to make this hotel new hotel, but because of COVID, they stopped the construction of it. I don't know, I don't really know why, because they could finish it, but they just stopped the construction. In the middle, and it's going to be a huge, huge, huge hotel. I think they finish it at like thirty percent. Actually, there are a lot of Thai people who are going to the beach every day to fishing. It was the case before the pandemic, but it's now more than before. Because they can catch some fishes and sell it. Well, of course, eat it first, but if they catch more than they need, they could sell some of it and make some, uh, some extra money. We are starting to arrive to my favorite part of Menam because of the coconut trees, palm trees. This is my really favorite part. It's really, really beautiful.
because it's so looking for shells. Usually the guys are fishing and the ladies are looking for shells in the sand. Especially when the low the tide is low, sorry. You can find a lot of shells. Small ones or big ones too. And uh, you can enjoy it for dinner. Fresh shells directly from the sea. Like I told you, you see why it's my favorite part? Because because of the palm trees and coconut trees. Sorry guys, if I'm moving a little bit, I use a gimbal, but I'm not used to it. So sometimes I don't make the right move, but I hope you enjoy this video. I actually make it because many people contact me and ask me about Samui, how it is now, what is the situation in Samui. And so I decided to make videos to show you guys how it it really is so this is Menam on a Sunday end of day and as you can see there is quite many people who are swimming now next time I will stop actually at the Menam resort and next time I will start but from this point to W resort the second part of the beach I'm making only the first part because as I told you Menam is the, one of the longest beach on the island so it takes time to go all around These guys are fishing with a net. And the net is coming back right now. I want to see if they catch something. Quite nice to fishing at the end of the day, on a sunny day with the sunset. When the sunset is uh, going on. He told me that they, they can catch anything. Tama Igoro, young me said, young me ok. Alana Kap. Oh, Kap 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 Jai Kap. The net was not uh, placed good, right? So it was not until the bottom of the sea. So then they know that they will not get anything.
and here it is the entrance and uh, the Menam Resort just right here. Menam Resort is a really good place to have a Thai food. It's cheap, good and the owner is really nice. Just right here. I like this place. I will show you where is the restaurant. And then it will be the end of this video and next time we will start from there to go to W. really beautiful there because we have the sun on the who finally comes and it looks really really nice this is the entrance of the Menam resort and the restaurant The to, to kin kao, it means to mean table in Thai and kin kao mean eating, so it's table to eat. So I dig up. And you see the restaurant is really nice because in the middle of the palm trees, coconuts trees, it's really nice to have a lunch here. And we will have a lunch next time to show you the food and the place and of course you have a beautiful view on Copenhagen and the sunset starting now guys I was looking my watch and it's now 6.15. We start to walk around, I think it was like 45 minutes ago. Let's see if the sunset has nice colors. I will make another video and put it right in this one. Okay guys. See you for the next one. Bye-bye.